All right, guys, so there's a reason I don't stream this crap, because I have to work this out. Um, okay, so hopefully it works this time. <laughs> Can't go full screen with it for some reason, so just bear with me. I don't know why it won't do it, but it won't do it. So this is Until Dawn, but it's not the PlayStation 4 version. No, 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 no. Somebody went and remade this on a Sega Master Drive engine. I actually had to disable the sound because the 16-bit uh, audio is so bad. So, I'm thinking you're just going to choose what to do. I'm hoping there's no movement because I'm just going to use the keyboard. I didn't tie any bindings to any keys on my gamepad. So, we'll see how it works. But uh, apparently this is only the first chapter in a full-fledged redo of this game. The link is below if you guys want to play it. So here we go. Play demo. Do I really have to read this, Gus? I mean, do I, do I really have to read it? Okay. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a hurricane weeks from now. I'm horrible at reading. The smallest decision can be dramatically changed. See, I just added words. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Choose your actions carefully. Prologue. 2nd February 2014. Seven friends, Sam, Mike, Chris, Ashley, Emily, Jessica, and Matt, are celebrating their annual winter getaway at the lodge owned by their mutual friends Josh and his sisters Hannah and Beth in the depths of the dark <laughs> I'm supposing that's supposed to say Royal Mountains but it's Oral Royal Mountains at Manaraga Pines I guess snow is silently falling outside the window and none of, none of the friends assume that something terrible could happen this calm winter night. You know what? Let me just readjust my picture real fast. Put it over here. There we go. Okay. So, I'm hitting the A key, by the way, to scan past this. Alright. So, while Josh and his friends, while Josh and Chris are passed out drunk in the kitchen, Mike, Ashley, Emily, and Jessica, and Matt decides to play a prank on Hannah because she made a move on Mike who is in a relationship with Emily at, at that time. Oh God, this is getting better and better. Sam, don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? It's not like, it's not Hannah's fault that she has a crush on Mike. Jess, Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking for my girl. M. Yes, just because he's class pres doesn't mean every girl can be his anyway. Let's go already. Mike, Ashley, Emily, and Jessica, and Matt go up, upstairs. Upstairs? Upstairs. Proofreading, guys. I know I can't read, but the least you can do is write down right. To the guest room. Uh, God. You know, if I knew there was going to be this much reading in this whole entire thing, I, I just wouldn't have started. I really wouldn't have, guys. Unbeknownst to Hannah, Jess, Emily, and Matt. <laughs> Let me try that again. Unbeknownst to Hannah, Jess, Emily, Matt, and Ashley are hiding under the bed in the closet of the guest room while Mike is waiting for Hannah. He hears her slow steps become... Closer. Ooh, about to get intense. She opens the door, holding a candle in her hand. Hannah, Mike, it's me. Meanwhile, Hannah's sister, Beth, is looking for her friends, unaware about the cruel joke they have about to make with her sister. Where is everybody? I can see only Josh and Chris are passed out drunk. Okay, so here's your decision time, okay? By the way, 
you guys don't know already, I'm drinking a little bit myself too. So, what should we do here? Look in the window, try to wake up Josh and ask him, look at the note on the table. Let's look at the note on the table. So I'm just using the arrow keys and hit A. Beth sees some note on the table and reads it. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. <laughs> but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh my god, what our naive sister get herself into now? At the meantime, things are getting hotter in the guest room. Hannah says, I got your note. Mike says, glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Look at those graphics, guys. That's amazing, isn't it? Top notch. I actually am enjoying myself on this because I don't have a PS4 and I can't play until dawn. So I guess this is the, I guess this is the next best thing. Hannah is starting to get her shirt off. Ooh. Mm. Matt, hiding in the closet, is ready to record this on his phone. But Jess, hiding under the bed with Emily, just can't hold her, hold herself. Jess says, oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. Unfortunately for them, Hannah hears it. Hannah says, what? Oh my god, what is happening? Then Hannah saw Matt come out of the closet recording. <laughs> it says record in, but I know it means recording. Recording her on the video. And understood that it was just a cool joke on her friends played on her. Mike says, uh, sorry Hannah. This all got out of hand, but... Hannah is running out of the building, feeling great shame and umbrage. They spelled umbrage wrong, I think. I think. I'm pretty sure. How could the ones she considered her friends do that to her? Through the kitchen window, Beth saw her sister rushing out of the lodge. Beth says, here she is. But what the heck? Wait, does she... What does she, what does she running from? I think it's supposed to say, what is she running from? I need to do something. God. <laughs> okay, so let's find the others. Beth put her coat on and go, and go outside. <laughs> it's bad enough I have to read it. But it's broken English as well. So it's like... Oh my god. Okay. Beth put her coat on and go outside. I think, it, I think it's supposed to say, and went outside. Where she... See Mike? She sees Mike. Sam, Ashley, Emily, Jessica, and Matt standing near the door and looking in the direction... They spelled direction wrong. Of the forest where Hannah ran to. <laughs> did some 14 year old make this I mean seriously did, did, did some 14 year old who knows how to code obviously they know, they know more than I do but still did some 14 year old make this I don't, I don't know it's, it's got a lot of broken English like a lot so let's narrate this some more and Beth says what's going on Where's my sister going? Jess says she just can't take a joke. Mike says we were here just messing around and it wasn't serious. That's my narration voice. Beth says you jerks. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Feeling more worried for her. I need to learn to read this before I actually start reading it. Feeling more worry for, it should say, for her sister. She says, it says, for the sister. Then anger for her friends. Beth ran into the forest while the others were exchanging glances, understanding that, understanding what an unpleasant situation they got. 
themselves into. In a five minute, in a minute of running through the thicket, Beth found herself standing at the edge of a cliff. Hannah definitely went that way, so Beth needed to decide how to come down. Whether she will just jump down the six meter high cliff, risking to break. It says broke, but I mean it says it, mean, it says broke, but it means break, break her leg or choose more long, should say, <laughs> yet safe work around. In her mind, Beth saw a picture of her sister dying from the cold, or being eaten by wolves. Earl, <laughs> mountains and forests at night are known to be to be dangerous. Not only because of the animals, but also because of the evil spirits haunting these places. Beth was understanding that she needed to act as fast as possible. Yet, if she will harm her leg, she could fail in finding Hannah in time. Ah, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. No time to waste. Maybe the snow will cushion the fall. Beth jumps from the cliff. Not so soft, but at least legs are not broken. <laughs> Yay, I did it. <laughs> Beth continues to run. Strange feeling that something bad is about to happen. If she will not hurry, made her run more faster. God, oh my, the broken English in this. Oh my God. Okay. Following Hannah's footprints left on the snow, Beth reaches road, the road fork. Footprints leading left, but the right, Beth hears some noise. Can it be Hannah? Let's follow footprints. Beth says, okay, I'll go to the left, but it's so dark there, I think I need to use my flashlight. Beth says, I can use my phone, actually. Turn the flashlight on. What a great thing, these modern gadgets, thought Beth. Walking into the darkness, but even with the phone in her hand, she didn't feel much safer. <laughs> God. It says saver, but I know it means safer. After all, what a girl will feel safe alone in the forest at night. But she still needed to find Hannah. Beth screams out, Hannah, where are you? Beth says, do you hear me? Sister, sister. <laughs> Beth moves away a big spruce branch and finally sees who she's looking for. Hannah is sitting in the snow near the tree in shirt and crying. Beth says, Hannah, what are you doing? Oh my God, you must be fressing. <laughs> Oh my god, what did I get myself into? Okay, so Beth, relieved that her sister is safe, offers her coat and helps her up while Hannah begins to degrade herself. Hannah says, I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Suddenly, the sisters hear an eerie noise behind them. Hannah says, Beth, what was that? Something was coming to them from the forest. They weren't sure what it was, but some basic instinct shouted them, run. And so they ran. As they cross the bridge, Hannah trips and falls down for a few seconds before Beth runs back to help her. In doing so, Beth's phone falls out of her pocket and into one of the cracks in the bridge. Hannah says, oh Jesus Christ. Now they found themselves standing at the edge of a cliff, and it definitely, spelled definitely wrong again, was not that six meter cliff Beth jumped from lately. Seemingly bottomless, terrifying, I didn't want to pronounce that word. It was a dead end, literally. Beth grabbed Hannah's hand. She understood there was no way for them to escape, escape the creature running to them from the forest at that moment. Beth says, no, oh shit, no, stay away from us. Beth screams desperately as the creature becomes closer to them, instinctively trying to escape from 
the danger, Hannah takes a step back. I'm not going to do the yelling noise, guys. I'm not doing it. Ah! <laughs> Hannah stumbles, falls off the ledge, pulling Beth along with her. Beth screams, no! At the very last moment, Beth manages to grab onto a branch with one hand and Hannah with the other. No way Beth could ever in her life think that she is capable of doing something even vaguely close to that. Suddenly, Beth sees a flame of fire right in the place where they were standing seconds ago. She would think about what the hell was that if she weren't busy, busy spelled wrong guys, trying to survive that moment. Beth says, hold on, Hannah, hold on. Abruptly, someone's figure shows from the cliff. The person stretched his hand to Beth, offering his help. How can she trust him? Beth didn't know. She didn't see his face, but she was sure that it was the only chance for her to stay alive now. Maybe he's the one they were running from. Even if so, why not use the only chance to survive? Best weakness, womanly hand started to become slack. He, she needed to decide to drop Hannah and grab the stranger's hand and let the branch go and die with her assist. Sure, let's drop Hannah. <laughs> the instinct for self-preservation is stronger than the human sentiment. Beth drops Hannah and sees her falling into the abyss. Now her right hand is free and she outstretches it to the supposed savior. Salvation seems so close. Suddenly the branch snaps and Beth falls right to her sister. Now they're lifeless bodies with heads broken, broken, broken it Bro uh, by the cold rocks. <laughs> Lying in the bottom of the canyon, two sisters, they were born the same day, and so, in the same day, they died. Chapter 1, Friendship Oh, no, we're not going to keep going. No, no, no. No, I'll do a part two. I'll stop right there. I'll just do a part two for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>